guys, welcome back to another episode of Bush Rats. Yeah, with Young Lee and Birdman. So today we've headed off to a nice pine forest on a private property uh, where we know there's a couple dams we can chuck some yabby nets out. We've got five nets between us and five different types of baits. So we're going to see which bait works the best. It's the middle of summer, it's nice and hot, so the yabby should be pretty active. Uh, we're going to get two nets into this little dam here. What are we running, mate? We're going to go your nets today. So we've got cooked meats, a bit of bacon. We'll get them in this one, and then what are you running in the next? Uh, I have some dog biscuits, uh, some raw chicken carcass, and some old lamb as well. So I think we should do all right between those five meats. Yeah, nice and oily. Yep, uh, so we're going to bag up these two trap nets here now. Opera house nets, uh, highly illegal in any other waterway, uh, but because we're on private property, all good. Let's get a line in, let's get a net in. Ew. Net one, going out, Birdman's barbecue leftovers from last night. Dam's looking a little low, real empty compared to last time we were out here. Yeah, um, hasn't rained in quite a while, so summer's been warm. Tasty, mate, tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Not really working, is it? Oh, there's a clip here. Net two, stinky bacon in the other end of the dam. Let's go find another one, mate. Sounds good. There's a few out here to choose from. We'll see which one we can find. Dam number two, mate. Yeah. Or we get some chicken and some uh, dog bix in this one. Yeah. And I've got one more to check, which we'll track the uh, lamb into. So there's three dams, five nets, five baits, and a hundred yabbies. Hopefully. We've got chicken in this one already. Get a chicken carcass in that one. Dog mix into this one. Ten <laughs> percent. <laughs> Some might stay in there. Let's get him out. Net number three. Chicken going out. Dog mix. Dog mix. Two dams, four nets, four baits. We're on. We should be on here. Yeah. We've got, we got one net left. We're going to go put that into another little dam. Um, just to stretch it out and we'll come back around and check him in, what, half hour, 45? Yeah, yeah, give him time to soak, let the oils get out. Bring him in, I guess. Bring him in? Yeah. All right, let's get the last one out. That should do it, mate. Now we wait. Yep. Not a bad little dam. She's a bit empty as well. But hopefully it makes it easy to get the yabbies. Kick back and have a water. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> got going on down here mate? Oh, I've got myself a new little under tray, water storage compartment, soap dispenser, hand wash station. I can keep you nice and clean while you're out there yabbying, dealing with gross baits. Wash down bay, wash down bay, clean up them sticky fingers. Cheers mate. Alright so we're back at the first dam now, we've given it a good 45 to an hour. 
Got the hessian bag ready. We're gonna get Birdman here to pull the nets in and uh, see what get we've got. In. How many do you reckon we got? Uh, put me money on a dozen. A dozen? Yeah. Coming from the bacon or barbecue meats? Barbecues. Oh. Yeah, surprise meat goes all right, so I reckon that'll be on. Let's go have a look. First pull, and barbecue meats. Ooh, feels heavy. Couple. Oh, more than a couple in there, mate. All right. Look at um, that. Maybe two dozen. Oops, little fella's making it back. Oops, oops, there's obviously a hole on that side. <laughs> <laughs> that's heaps of yabbies. Yeah, that's lunch. A couple of little guys can make it back. You want a few? I'll take a few. We'll fill up the hessian bag, you right? Yeah. All right. Um, anything too small guys we'll put back, but they all look pretty stonker to me. They're all averaging. Yeah, that sort of size right there. Soggy up the bag. Well, what's that good? Two dozen in there, you reckon, mate? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I said at the start. Ah, yeah, two yeah, dozen, yeah, two not dozen. one dozen. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you reckon? Should we put the net back out or we'll see how many we get in here? Yeah, if... we'll give the other one a go and then maybe tour around, check out some of the other dams on this property. Yeah, we don't need too many. Um, so we are going camping tomorrow and we probably can't cook them all up tonight. We'll check the bacon, assess the situation, but I think we might only have to do one run around here. Yeah, that's a good day. It's a good day. Old bacon bits coming in. Equally as heavy. Oh, got a couple still thinking about getting in. Come stragglers. Oh, not bad. What's that, another two dozen? Yeah, another two dozen. Couple of decent sized ones in there. They've absolutely annihilated the bacon. Yeah, there's like no bacon left in there at all. Yep. So. Good to see they like the bacon baits. Bacon flavoured yabbies. All right, we'll go and through these do the same again. Side. Yep. Same deal, we're just gonna go through, keep that sort of size. Now the old yabbies, they're an invasive species to here in WA, so there's no bag limit, no size limit. Might just tip them out, eh? Just tip them out. Oh, getting away. Not bad at all. Look at the colours on this one, bro. Super blue. Soon to be red. <laughs> Alright, what's that? A good four does? Three dozen? Yeah, not bad. About, First dam. About 50 odd, probably. Yeah. Uh, so, put barbecue meats, bacon, does well. Might just be the dam, but we'll check the other ones. Um, hopefully. Yeah, being like kind of off grid, private property. They're not as fished as some of the other ones, so pretty lucky there, but doing alright so far. Yeah, we're going to check these other nets and hopefully get a decent feed. We'll be living on Yabbies for the next two weeks, mate. Yeah. You. On to the next one. Dam number two. Oh, jeez. Either stuck in the mud or it's full of Yabbies. Stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. Uh, what have we got? One. One lone yabby. One in the chicken. Well, it was safe to say the other dam is better in, than this one, but. Much cleaner. Yeah, might be this yabby's lucky day. He can go back. I think we've got enough. Bit of lamb in this one. Oh no, this one wasn't lamb, this one was dog biscuits. Dog biscuits with four yabbies and a little baby one. A couple of small ones. Because this dam's not that productive, we'll chuck these buns back. Fish for the future, you know. There you go guys, have some dog biscuits. We'll pack this up and we're going to go check that last net. Um, but all in all, I don't think we need to chuck them back out, do we? Nah. Nah, I think we've got enough. Yeah, we'll move on. We've got to feed. Yep. Keep your barbecue meats, guys. Seems to work the best so far.
Got one more dam to check. So we've just stumbled across another dam, taking a different track to the last dam to get the last net. So Birdman reckons we should use the old uh, barbecue meat with a bit of bacon and uh, give it 20 minutes to soak in this one here while we go check the other one. Alright, this looks like a pretty good dam. Yeah, I reckon we'll be on here. A lot of water in this one. It's got a pram there which is a bit bit weird, a bit, <laughs> bit creepy, eh? Hey? Yeah, maybe we brought the wrong bait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to give it a go in the pram dam. Pram dam. That'll do it. Oh yeah, nice and deep, still going down. Oh, very deep. We'll go check this last dam, then we'll come back, check this one on the way out. Last net, we've got one more bonus net to check on the way out. Yeah, it's upside down, not a good sign. Uh, a little tadpoles. Heaps of tadpoles. Taddies. Tadpoles like the lamb. Don't blame them. Alright. The, yeah, the, other, the first dam was the best one still so far. Yeah. Yep. Get him back. Get him when he's a frog. Not a bad day's out. Yeah. We'll pack up this one. Cruise on back to the other one. Yep. Might even cook up a yabby or two in the meantime. Yeah, might have a boil up, eh? Yeah, let's boil up a yabby. Gabby's for a cook up, mate. Yeah, a bit of lunch. Get a few good ones, I reckon. Nasty little boys. Good one. Just cook up what? Half Six, does. eight, yeah. half does. Half does. Three Three each up. for a taster. Yeah. A couple, couple more. Yeah, a couple extras. That many. That'll do for a cook up. Yeah. Boil them up. A bit of salt. We on. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. We've only got one, but it's, oh no, it's got two. Put them back in the bag. Our water's on the boil now. Birdman's got a ripper set up here. He's got the oven, he's got the uh, cooker, he's got the water on the boil, he's got the water, he's got the fridge. you got it all, mate. You can live out of this thing. Yeah, well, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> on weekends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, we'll bomb them in, I reckon, mate. Yep, I reckon we're boiling here. Yeah, she's definitely boiling. Get some yabbies on the go. Give them four or five minutes, mate. We'll, yep. be, we'll be nibbling. So they're red. Give them a little drain. Yep, here in the kitchen. A few little tasty ones there, mate. That's lunch. Nice and cooked. Let's give them a red hot go. Alright, a couple of well cooked yabbies here. Nice and fresh. Yeah, cheers, mate. All you're gonna do is you're gonna rip the head off, separate it from the body. A little bowl of here, water here, mate. If you need to give them a rinse, rinse the poops off. Yep. Ah, oh, it's just shelling him, just getting the meat out. They're definitely a delicacy. That's what you're left with there. Just give them a rinse. A bit of a prawn looking piece. Freshwater prawn, mate. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Straight out of the dam. These make ripper sandwiches. You peel a bunch of them, put them in a sandwich with a bit of mayo. Um, you can dissect a bunch of them, put them in pasta. Reef and beef, put them on a steak. Not bad. Fresh from the southwest. Yeah. There you go guys, a little cook up, down by the patrol, <laughs> by the dam. Yeah, on the creek. Birdman's kitchen. So we're just going to finish these up, eat some noodles, go check that last mystery net in the random dam that we found on the way out. Hopefully we get a couple more in there mate. But yeah, yeah. 
few more. Yeah, it's been a good day so far. Yabby and steak for dinner. Hmm. Camping tomorrow. Camping tomorrow. There we go, guys. Cooking up a couple yabbies down by the patrol, down by the dam, out in the pine forest. Absolute ripper day. Cheers to Birdman for bringing out the kitchen, cooking up the noodles. Uh, we're going to go check that last little net on the way out of here. Hopefully, there's a couple more in the mystery dam. But it's been a good day. Back at the pram dam for the last pull of the day. Let's have a geese. What you call mate? Couple? Nothing? Oh, it's not jumping around too much. Some little ones. Oop, oop. They're all getting out of the net again. <laughs> oh, they're alright. They're all pretty small, yeah. but that's a good sign. It was a good dozen there. All yeah. making a bit of a breakaway. There's just some little ones in here. There we go friends, another little episode done and dusted. Cheers to Birdman for coming out to uh, test out the Yabby Dams. Yeah, good day. Yep, been adventuring Successful. around. Yeah, very yep. good. Got a feed, had a feed. Had a feed. Yeah. Some noodles, some yabs. Yeah. Um, so well, you'll take half home, I'll take half home. Bit of a cook up I reckon for the next couple of days. Yeah, Even that's it. Might chuck some on a steak, you know, bit of garlic sauce. Yeah, so much you can do with them. Yeah. Uh, but till next time guys, like and subscribe, check out our other videos, bushrats.bigcartel for your merch, and we will see you next time. Somewhere in the southwest. Out on the tracks. Yeah. <laughs>